Hi guys, it's Tanya from Four Girls Jewelry. It's a rainy day in Chicago and I'm sitting here and trying to match my jewelry because a lot of jewelry that I do um, have components like this and I decide to make more earrings that can match my jewelry. So these are frames that I just finished. They could be matching for other stuff. But when I play with this snake that I use in a lot of, of projects, I actually create a bloom because I always was thinking that I want to create something like a blooming flower. And I like it. And I thought maybe today it still need to go to level of sulfur. Maybe I will just show you how I make this a little flower. If you want to learn how to make it, just stay with me, pick up your wire and let's wire wrap together. So I will use for a snake a 18 gauge wire and my round nose pliers. I did this a lot of times on my channel, but just quickly we go over, we, we just go over it again. So I just bend it like this, switch the pliers so it will be this way, and manipulate your wire right there. Sometimes I go off the camera. I know that it's hard with the, when the telephone is right in front of, like in, in front of me. Uh, so, but you guys, if you at home, just slow, push it down. The, always put the pliers and go this way, this way. And you will create a snake. Turn it. I always push it again to the fullest. When they meet, then do the put the pliers again in position and go around. And you just go back and forth, back and forth. It doesn't have to be perfect, but you create a snake like this. And I create for a long snake. Like uh, I never cut it. I can make it like long one. What you do need is jump ring. I just prepare everything. So um, here is the snake that is already on my jump ring because I don't want this video to be a very, very long. So, but I just show you quickly how I started. So you will have idea how I end up with this a little component. So you made your snail. And I usually cut a little piece right here. And that's will be beginning. You just make it nice little start point here. And we have our jump ring and we will attach them together. I will use 26 gauge wire. You need much longer piece, but I just wanna show you quickly. Go inside, I usually start from like almost last one, this one. So I just put two wraps there. Two wraps there and attach to the the one the small one here that loop here so you can attach also there once or twice and you cut your wire And then you just attach everything and you keep going and attaching each little space here you attach to your uh, jump ring. So you keep going, attach more, 
just move in each little space I attach twice with my wire twice and go back more see this snake is too small but sometimes when I work on a project like that I will leave it wire so I can make it more and that way you can end up with something like this so it's completely go around your jump ring doesn't have to be perfect like my petals are not perfect either but when you finish the project it will be beautiful natural so i will leave the wire here for my stone and you can decide what stone you want i have peridot that faceted like this and i like it it's really pretty so i will add it this in the middle and attach nicely on one side just make sure you secure that nicely a few times and that is your first frame a snake I will later go over each little petal make sure it's nicely hugging the stone making funny noises okay at the end we will tweak them all better but it's already nice now the second shape the second shape i use thicker wire so you can use 16 gauge and that's what he's trying to make okay um so and we will need one more frame too so let's first do this one i have a thicker wire so this is 16 gauge i will leave a little tail it's not necessary that long it can be smaller because we will cut it anyway and i use my ring mandrel so what i do is make it something like this and then go around your mandrel halfway this is too big when you work on it it has to be half half of the mandrel from here to here half and then you um, measure where half is just make it turn your wire the other way and that's what we're striking to make and again measure it it doesn't have to be exactly perfect each one Sometimes they go out of shape, but it's okay. You can put it back. And we need four of them. So I'll make four of them. Just like that. Take your time. Make a frame like this. So we have four of them. We need one more um, frame here for this flower. So I also use a ring mandrel and I actually at this time we needed to leave specific amount of wire for our bale. It doesn't have to be very long but whatever bale you want. Mine was like this because I want to put thick jump ring. So I left a little bit here, go around again all the way and that will be our second third frame actually for the flower you can buy a wrap uh, uh, you can hammer it if you wanted to the point is that has to be enough for our other frame to sit in uh, 
to like the jump rings that you have when you want to wrap is has to be inside in this frame that's all it will be easier for you to attach to frames and now this need to be attached to this i mold it with my hands try to fit this in so that will be like that and when you know it will fit fit on that little around this frame right you take 24 gauge wire Ooh, let me let me bring 24 gauge wire i don't have it got my 24 gauge wire so it has to be put along because you want to make in one setting so we start from the middle and i attach the middle to the middle in the beginning it's so, sort of fiddly because you have to hold two wires two frames so we attach with two wraps and then what i do i usually go only once around this frame the middle one the inside the inner one right and then twice around this if it makes sense so we have looks like two wraps here and just almost just nothing just hugging the bottom wire because here is less space and we want to cover the top better as a wire wrapper you probably know what i'm talking about so here we have around like this when we go down you're just hugging this wire and go up it's easier to wire wrap when nothing is still attached like we have all kinds of openings here and i feel it will go fast that way instead of like attaching everything and trying wire wrap will take forever so that's how I fill my flower. So you go up, around, go down, hugging that one. Just the only thing, just remember to hold everything. And to the top, twice, down, up, Oops, too fast then I go in a long way right yeah okay and you keep going so you keep going keep going you attach this then keep going put the next one keep going and here is the the one I did already two petals So you can tell it doesn't have to be perfect sometimes it's a more wrap sometimes less but it's an organic design and then what I do is I attach this to that so wherever wire you have a leftover if you have more of this you attach with that if you have more of this you attach with that one after you're done completely that will be, well, let's say we done with this, right? You can either end up end wire like wrapping around this wire, or you can simply do uh, like a swirl here, like a, just, just something like that. You can do that too, like, because it will hide behind this thing. You will not see it. And all we need to do later at the end of your bail. So I would straighten the wire nicely, cut them, cut them to the length you want. 
come to the land we want and uh, and I will use one by one my braille maker plier so yeah this is too large <laughs> so we need to add less wire this depends what kind of bail you want right so you can make it less let's see i got heavy. let's see how it's now right Yeah, much better. So we have this tail. Yeah, I do individually, and then when it's done, I just straight them and make them sit together. Because when everything is wire wrapped, you will have better picture there. After I done everything, I try to manipulate those um, petals. I actually push everything together and these guys also you can see how it's like have sort of 3d shape so I first mold um, these guys like each individual petal inside So it has this shape and then actually at the end I also play with a little bit like this so I make it complete shape so it will look like like this if it's not makes sense you know and yeah you just play make it make it the flower and it will be another flower soon. It's just a long process, guys. It's not complicated, just take a long time to wire wrap. But when you sit home, slowly, step by step, I just show everything, so all you need is just simple three bicycle component. This snake with a jump ring, this frame, and the middle one. And you attach together, and you will have amazing, beautiful flower. If you don't want to do flower, you can just do what I did this morning. Easy project. <laughs> I just try to make sort of lazy necklaces and I love them. Because this is combo of both metals, sterling and um, copper. This will go in a liver of sulfur. It will be amazing. Uh, it, it's a, I call it uh, everything everything necklaces <laughs> you know why because there is a pizzas everything pizza or everything bagel where they put all kinds of seeds and everything in one piece and i feel like when you have leftover beads if you have like one bead kind of different shape bead you don't know what to do with that you can all color code it and add it to one design which looks like a um, I don't know, it's like a waterfall with all kinds of little beads. So this have labradorite and uh, more labradorite that I even don't know what white is and also some pearls. Guys, I hope it's so helpful. I hope you would like to make more complicated, not really, but something like a flowery shape. And I will keep going and working with my a snake today and making more designs with um, I just working on more earrings today I need it because I almost sold pairs for my uh, necklaces so I need to work on them I'm really thankful for you watching and uh, I still didn't work on my uh, girl talk I didn't have time to film it but I really want to start from my favorite place which is Baha'i Temple uh, in it's very close to me and last year I was sitting there almost three four times a week it was the place where charged me where 
I can reflect on my thoughts and everything. So it's a beautiful place and I'm excited to show you guys for those who don't live in Illinois. Um, maybe I can make a tour to see, to, to show you beautiful, beautiful place. Uh, it's inside, um, you can see all kinds of designs on the walls and it's a temple for all, all religion and I really love it. It's anybody can come there and just be welcome in that place. So that's coming soon. If I will have time, hopefully this week, if I will have some space open, I will just go and film for you and we can start that uh, different chapter girl talk or inspirational talk. Thank you guys for watching. I see you next week on Tuesday, definitely, and maybe, hopefully, on Thursday. Thank you. See you soon.